We're hearing more about a slight hiccup in NASA's plans to launch. A fuel leak interrupted the countdown for the Artemis 1 rocket. Launch controllers had to stop fueling for a brief period of time. We're told now it is back on track. Shows how something so small can put the next era of American space exploration at risk. NBC's Chris Pallone joining us live from Cape Canaveral, Florida. Chris, can you talk a little bit more about why this morning's launch is a key to NASA's future overall? Sure, and uh, you know, I'll give you a little more bad news that we've just received in the past couple of minutes too. Uh, NASA on NASA TV, that's where they carry the commentary on their launch, uh, said in the just the past few minutes that a launch today is unlikely in their words. They haven't scrubbed it just yet, but as you mentioned, engineers are taking a look at what's being described as a crack in a flange. A flange is essentially a seam in the rocket. Uh, there was some ice developing that looked like it was leaking during fueling so they're checking that out but we've also learned about a problem with engine number three uh, that is not properly getting up to temperature in order to launch and so they're also taking a look at that NASA describing this again as unlikely to launch they have a two hour window so things could change it starts at 8:33 this morning and goes until about 10:33. so we're keeping an eye on it if it does get scrubbed today the next launch windows would be Friday or Monday sure to be a big disappointment to the hundreds of people who are out here on Cape Canaveral Beach this morning who have been out here for hours eagerly anticipating this. You mentioned this is the future of American space exploration. NASA wants to send astronauts back to the moon for the first time in 50 years in the next two or three years. They want to do that so they can see if it's possible to send crews further out into space, perhaps to Mars even, by using the moon as a lunar base to go further. The first step would be today sending uh, the Orion crew capsule to orbit the moon, a 42-day mission. They want to test that crew capsule to see if it can withstand the re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere 5,000 degrees against its heat shields, and then possibly in 2024 sending up some astronauts to uh, orbit the moon before in 2025 or later sending astronauts to the surface of the moon once again. So we're keeping an eye on these developments. The good news is the weather remains okay this morning, but it sounds like the mechanical problems might be the ones that sink this launch for today. But we'll keep an eye on it for you. Back to you. All right, Chris Pallone reporting for us again a launch today now unlikely a lot's been happening in the last 20 minutes we appreciate the update Chris thanks a lot